artist. 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 <laughs> and why are we saying artist? Because this is a painting room. Oh, what do you call a painting room? A lot of painting room. Um, an artist room. An artist room. Or some people call it an art studio. Some brown in it. So it's Gigi's art studio. Uh, more like an art studio. An artist studio. Okay. All right. So what are we doing right now? You figure out where you want these little mossy areas. Right now, what do you want? It just sort of hangs oh, over and hangs down. Right now, you need to paint? Well, well paint. you're watching here. What's his name? Bob Ross. Bob Ross. Yeah, what do you like about Bob Ross? Well, I like the way he paints because it's so pretty. really good. Mm -hmm. Is that what you want to do when you grow up? Yeah. Yeah. I was watching Bob Ross with you. We used to pick the Spanish moss out of trees. When he's finished, then we're going to learn. And they would boil it. And that's what was in mattresses and chairs and stuff. Okay. Yep. Okay. You are going to turn this way. Okay. And this is where you are to learn. Okay. Okay. We are going to talk about shapes. We've talked about them before. We've already known shapes. The shapes of our face. Well, right now we're just going to talk about shapes in general. So, you okay. tell me a shape and I'll draw it. I I can tell you which my favorite shape is. You can tell me your favorite shape. What's your favorite shape? My favorite shape is a blue square. Oh, okay, let's leave color out of it and just worry about shapes. So, square? Yeah, I like squares. It's not a very straight square, is it? No, it's okay. Okay, square. What's another shape? My other shape? Oh, a rectangle. Ooh, a rectangle. Okay. Kind of like a square. Mm -hmm. What right. makes it different? What? What makes a rectangle different from a square? Well, because it's longer than a square. Mm -hmm. Two sides are longer. Yeah. If this side and this side were longer and these were shorter, that would make it not a square. No, that would make it <laughs> So like here's a, a square, here's a, a rectangle. Short, a short rectangle. <laughs> okay. What's your next color, or next shape? Oh, um... We'll get into that in a minute because a cube is a type of square. So what's another shape? Just a basic flat shape. What's another? A flat shape? Ooh. Mm. Um, I do like triangles. Ah, triangle. That's a good one. And give me one more important one. Important? Actually, two more important ones, but they're very similar. Um, well, I do love circles. Circle. Circle. What's similar to a circle, but longer? Well, well, it doesn't have any sides or corners. Right. And, um. What's shaped like this? Not like this that's a circle but what is shaped like this oh you mean like you get put a pencil down like uh, a long circle what like would be a this long... okay that's that's different that's got corners doesn't have corners just like a circle doesn't have corners uh, do you remember what it's called uh, uh, what is it? I don't know. Wait, a cylinder? No. Uh, cylinder is another kind of shape, but that one's room? not flat. Oh, an oval. Oval. That one's not so great. I'm going to redo that. No, it, 
it won't scream. No, because we have another shape that's very similar and I don't want to get them mixed up, okay? Oh, got you. I want to see them better. Mm -hmm. The lips look a bit tight too. <laughs> yes, a potato is an oval. That's good. That's your artistic eye. So if you're drawing potatoes, do you draw triangles? Mm, like, yeah. Would you draw a triangle if you were trying to draw a potato? No. No, you would draw an oval. And that's art. Yeah. Okay, and what is... Like, if you have a fan, that's the circle. What's that? That is a diamond. That is a diamond. Very good. Kind of like a crystal. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. How about... Kind of like Crystal's name. Yeah, Crystal. <laughs> this one might be a little tough. What? See if you know. See, it looks very similar to that, right? It's a head. <laughs> oh, that's really good, Milo. It it looks like a head, doesn't it? So yeah. what shape is it? Well, it kind of looks like a water drop falling from a rain. Water drop is another good name because it's smaller and it can be the other direction. You can do it this yeah. way as well. Yeah, that that's awful. Wait, let's do that again. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Nice. So now it's an upside down one, like a water drop, right? Yeah. Or like an egg. Oh yeah, kind of like that. Mm-hmm. And or so like people. A bird egg. A bird egg. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not a snake egg. Snake eggs are round, right? Yeah. So They're they so call cool. this. Egg shape. And that's a very important shape for us today oh. that we're going to talk about. Oh. Um, round is also an important shape, or a circle is very important. So, what Whoa. is this called? What is this one called? A square. Square. And this is called? A rectangle. A rectangle. Triangle and circle and oval. Okay, and hold, hold on. Getting ahead of me. <laughs> There's other shapes, but those are some of the basic ones. Those are the normal ones that we already know. Yeah, that's right. And when you're looking at pictures, you look for the shapes in the pictures. And sometimes you live in shapes. What shape is where you live? We live in houses. Those are some shapes. What like chair, What shapes like, are they? Like a rectangle and a triangle for the roof. Yeah. Yeah, we good. do live in shapes. Yeah, we certainly do. There are some people that live in round houses, circle houses. But from the side, they don't look like a circle. They look like a cylinder, like you said before. A cylinder has dimension to it. It's three-dimensional, so you can actually touch and see how that it goes around. Like, <coughs> so, <coughs> does their house Excuse me. roll around? When no. <laughs> their house looks like a circle from the top. When you look at a round house, it's it's like if you were a bird flying over it, you would see the round oh. circle. Oh. All right, but we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk about people. Okay. People. We're gonna draw people. their faces. We are gonna we're gonna talk about people. You jump ahead. You're smart. You know what we're gonna talk about. Okay. So yeah, remember, I said that. we're really gonna concentrate on this shape. Sometimes uh -huh. this shape and sometimes this shape. Uh -huh. There's other shapes that are involved, but these are the main ones that we use when we're drawing people. Oh. And even animals. Did you know that? No. Okay. So. So what? So. Oh. All right. 
So what we're gonna do now, let's change colors. Let's do green. You don't like green? What? You don't like green? No, I hate green. Green is, the earth is covered in green and blue. Yeah, but I don't like green, actually. I don't like red and blue, too. Your mama's eyes are green. Yeah, but I don't like them. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to draw a big oval, okay? Okay. Hey, I want, that it looks more like, uh, what's that? That, that color looks like, um, teal a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Let's see that. Oh There's some gosh, different you know. colors that we don't know. Actually, I said the wrong thing. Let's do this again. La, 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 la. I'm going to draw a big egg shape. Okay. Okay. Like that. Yeah. So you see, upside it's shaped, down. shaped like an egg. Yeah, but now, it's upside down. Everybody doesn't have the same kind of head. Everybody doesn't have the same. Sometimes face. they have circle heads. Yeah, some people have more round faces. Some people have more angular square faces. Yeah. But we're going to start with this because this is the basic shape of a head. Basic. So that's what we're, everybody's basic shape is an oval. And then we put the details and put the angles in afterwards, okay? Oops. So did you know that we can split the head into four parts? Okay, we're going to draw a line. Yeah, I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. That is terrible. It's great that this is erasable. Okay. Erase the head. We are going to draw a line down the center, the middle. Okay? Oh, down the middle. So we have one half there and one half there. Okay? okay? Now we're going to split it in half this direction. Okay? We're not going to do it here. We're going to do it right there, right in the middle. So if you were to take this point and this point, we are going to draw a line. Kind of like the face on that picture. Kind of like the face on that picture. Yeah. Yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna put the neck in just to kind of give us a little bit of heads. Yeah, so now we can really see. Alright, now we're going to split this in half. It kind of looks like a mask. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. See when you buy a mask and you put it on. The eyes are in the right place, the nose is in the right place, and the mouth is in the right place. It's just it might be bigger or smaller, just depending upon what size you get. But it's all still the same. So we're going to split this one in half. All right. So we got it? Got it? Half? Half? Yeah. We got okay. It. We got it? Yeah. Okay. So from... This point to this point kind of looks like you split in three parts. Oh, three on each side. Yeah. yeah. But basically, the four parts is this part, this part, this part, and this part. I mean, this is all one half. Okay? Okay. So, next what we're going to do is we're going to put a nose. We're going to just put the bottom of the nose right there. Um, no, it doesn't look very good. Well, I'm just putting, we're just sketching. So when you do this on paper, you do it really, really lightly because you're going to erase these lines. This is just giving you guidelines, okay? Got it, yeah. Okay. Now, we are going to put Looks just like the head. What's interesting is 
from this point to this point and this point to this point is the same as this to this. It kind of looks like they're angry. Oh, you think? Yeah. The the one at the bottom, at the very own bottom, doesn't look like it's angry because it has a little eyebrows. Okay, well, you look at this. Don't worry about that. Okay, you look at this. All right. So now, he's going to find where the nose comes down. And we're going to drop the sides of the nose. Because generally, this size, and this size, and this size, and this size are all spaced about the same. Okay. Okay. Alright, we good? Mm. You happy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, guess what goes here to here? So from, if you look from the bottom of the eye, right there, to the bottom of the nose, right there, what goes yeah. on each side of the head? Cheeks. Well, yeah, that's right here. But what is on the side oh, of your head. Ears. Ears. So that's why when people wear glasses, when they wear their glasses, the legs of the glasses fit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Makes sense, right? Yeah. Okay. Actually, this needs to come up just a little higher. Yeah, it it's very right across from there. Yeah. All right. Those are, are we all good? Ears. Yep. Perfect ears. Yep. Okay. All right. So this is just basics. All right. Now, where does the mouth go? Does it go up here? No. No. That would be like your monster. Ah. See, that's the thing about drawing cartoons and stuff, because you can put it anywhere you want. Now, there was an artist. His name is Picasso. Have you ever heard that name before? No. Picasso. Yeah. I don't like his art. I don't like his art where he was putting like a nose up here and an ear down here and an eyeball over here and a, you know, mouth right there. You know, he was just, he did crazy stuff like that. Yeah, it was kind yeah. of funny. But he could paint. He could paint real stuff. His father was an uh, beautiful artists and painted birds and stuff like that so he could do all these beautiful realistic things but he decided to explore the wild we'll talk about that later or you'll he, learn he about that later he wanted to explore the wild he didn't want to paint he, anymore he was he wanted to do his own thing oh. which is okay to want to do your own thing yeah you can do your own thing if mm -hmm. you want to being an artist you can you can do whatever you like but yeah. the thing was, is he learned how to be a good artist first before he started doing the crazy stuff. Well, so I want you to learn to be a good artist and then you can do all the crazy stuff too. You see, but you have to have the foundation of being an artist training. Well, actually, stuff. I want to draw a monster with his mouth up there on his forehead okay. and the eyes down there. And you can do that, but I want you to learn this first. Okay? Okay. Okay. His head's upside down. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now we are going to split this in half. Right there. Okay? Okay. And this is going to be the bottom of the and lip. That's four. That's four. And the corner Oops. of this lip comes up and it should fall just below where the where the iris is in your eye. And the dark circle in your eye. Yeah, but mostly people think it's called the pupil. The pupil is the tiny hole in the middle of the iris. Yeah. It's like if you look at a donut, it's a big circle, right? And you eat the donut, right? That's the I iris. I No. So you eat the circle. That's the iris. Yeah. But what's in, in the middle is a hole. Yeah, that's, that's the pupil. The pupil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When I was a little girl, my daddy told me that the whole of the donut was poisonous. So I would eat around the donut and just leave a circle because I was afraid I would accidentally bite into the whole of the donut. <laughs> Wait. You <laughs> ate a poisonous donut? 
No, he was teasing me, but yeah. I believed him. <laughs> okay, so now we gotta leave this little space that's right here. Yeah. That little that little spot that's right there. Yeah. Where it hatches. Yeah. But what is the it's the bow? Called? It's called the a bow? bow. What is the bow for? The bow? Yeah. It's just where your face came together and it attached. When you are a baby in your mommy's tummy. Mm-hmm. You, these two parts of your head, they were two halves, and then they came together and made a hole. And that's just where it came together. And some people, like your mommy and papa, yeah. they have a cleft in their chin. What's so a cleft? It's a little dimple in the bottom of their chin where their head came together when they were in their mommy's tummies. Whoa! And it left a little split, almost like the same split that's right there above your lip. Cool. <laughs> and some people have really deep bows. You and I both have really deep bows. Your mama has a really deep bow too. So right there, there's a hole almost. Not everybody does. So you have to look and see. So what I... shape is that? Um. An oval. <laughs> An oval. <laughs> Might be a little bit of a teardrop too, huh? Yeah. Okay, so now let's come down and we're going to connect. Wait. And Are some people have the full... veil again? What? Are you putting the veil? Yeah, that's for me. Oh, and for me too? If you want to. Uh, yeah, absolutely. All right, so some people have full lips and some people have skinny lips. Some people's lips look like pinky tie wraps. That <laughs> really <laughs> skinny. <laughs> but basically everybody has a bow of some sort. And you want the corners to kind of go up a little bit because we don't want this person to be sad, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So now let's look at the eyebrows, which everybody's eyebrows are a little different too. Whoa. My eyebrows are really close. Sit back. My eyebrows are really close to my eyes. You have more space between your eyebrow and your eye. Mine are really close. And then Mine everybody's eyebrow really shapes are far. different. Mine are really far. Are they? It's a little bit angry. <laughs> and everybody can groom their eyebrows differently too. You know, it's like cutting your hair. My eyebrows though, I have a really strong arch that whenever I was a little girl, it was like, it was something that kids used to tease me about because I had really archy eyebrows. That's cool. Charlie has archy eyebrows too, doesn't she? Her eyebrows go no. up. Yeah, she does. Her eyebrows go up. My, but, but, now go up. Your, but now your eyebrows go down now. Oh, you think? Yeah. Well, I groom them. So that kind of helps. You get older, you can do things like that. Okay. So that's kind of a basic face shape or a basic yeah, head yeah, shape. I, yeah. But where's the hair? Oh. It disappeared. <laughs> it disappeared. He, yeah, he got a haircut and he <laughs> changed all off. All right. So the hair actually doesn't start up here. It starts down here. So just like we have almost yeah. half right here, you want to do. Yeah, my hair starts here. Now, everybody's is different. Everybody has a different hairline. Your daddy has a widow's peak. So on the top of his hair, it comes down like that. Oh. Did it's you know a, that? Needs a little bit more color. <laughs> okay. We're not going to do the widow's peak, but that's what that's called. And that's what your daddy has is a widow's peak. And ah. some people have hair that goes back like this and like this. You are right. Some people right. have just hair that goes like this. Some people have bangs. Of the hair. I am? Yes. Okay. Now, the hair has some what's called volume. 
so volume. volume it gives it some lift so it's not flat are you making it a girl do you want me to make it a girl or a guy a guy and all the hair is okay. messed up no the hair's not messed up it's still a guy this is erasable remember yes. okay but before i continue making the hair let's erase these lines These are just what we call registration lines. There's or more guidelines. Lines. Well, that's part of the nose. Hmm? Ah. You want to just clean it up just a little bit. What do you think? Yeah. Those arms are close. Okay, so you want me to make this a guy? Yes. Okay, so generally, guys have a stronger jawline. Yeah, sharper. So women have softer jawlines. Mm -hmm. Some women have some angle to their jawline, you know, more like a diamond shape. But most women have a soft jawline. That's what makes them curvy and feminine. Women tend to be more curvy. So for a guy, let's let's drop this down. Remember, this is just our basic shape. We're yeah. gonna make this more angular. Little bit better? A little bit? Nah, it doesn't look a little Still not good? good? Yeah, it looks okay. a little, so, little bit diamondy. A little bit? Yeah. Now we're gonna put some strong cheekbone in here. Draw some details, because after you get the basic shape, you can do some more details. Now men tend to have bushier eyebrows, right? Mm -hmm. We're not gonna put like glorious long lashes on him. Yeah. And we're gonna make his nose a little bit stronger too. We're gonna give him a little bit. This was just my guideline. We're gonna <laughs> Give it just a little bit of a stronger nose. Maybe some thinner lips. Hey, is he changing? Mm, yeah, he actually okay. is changing. Yeah, he is changing. Yeah, it looks really good. Good. You know, I thought you told me that you were not good at it, but it turns out you are. What, that I wasn't good at people? Yeah, you told me that. I did? People are my favorite thing to draw, actually. <laughs> You said that you were not good. Really? Oh, no. I think you misunderstood me. Maybe I said there are other people who are better than me. But drawing people is what I'm very, very confident about doing. Although this is on a magic er not a magic erase board, but an erase a whiteboard. Magic erase. Yeah. I have those. And it's done in green, right? <laughs> More like two. The other thing we're going to do here. Now, one thing that a man has too, well, he has what's called, we're not going to get into this too much, but he has what's called an Adam's apple. And Everybody has a little bit where your voice box is, but a man has a larger, it sticks out. So as you get older, 
you're gonna get this little lump in your throat, but it's gonna make you look like a man. <laughs> well, so it's kind of like that. The, the neck looks a little bit. But it's hard to do with a green marker. <laughs> All right, now that hair looks really bad for a guy, right? Yeah. Okay, so no, let's do. And the face looks a little bit messy. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Let's do a side deal with him. Okay. So we're going to do his hair on the side part right there. Okay. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Looks, looks a lot neater. Nice. He got a haircut. Yeah. Yeah, see how fun that is? Because he got a haircut. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. Think so? Better than the other yeah. ones. Yeah. So now you can kind of, you know, add details into it. See? Yeah. So this is what I want you to do. Ooh. I want you to draw a face just like I did. Okay. I want you to draw... The oval? Yeah. The oval. Divide it up. Yep. And I'll help you with it. Okay. But okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't need to help. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Start with an oval. Mm -hmm. Or an egg. Oh, that's perfect. Love it. Don't worry about erasing that yet because it's okay. going to get erased anyway. Oh. Yeah. That looks good, doesn't it? Now we need a little bit of some necks. Yeah. To make it more heavier. Yeah. Gives it a place for a head okay. rest, right? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, remember we gotta divide it. Like, um. Split it in two halves. Yeah. Okay, so do your one long line down mm -hmm. the middle. Awesome. You did better on your first try than I did. All right, now split it in half. Don't go so high. You want to come down here and split it in half. Perfect. Oh my goodness. And split that one in half. Very, very good. Very good. I think that one could come down a little lower. What do you think? You mean this one? This line right here. I think that could drop, drop just a little bit. You want to try again? Um, no, no. Well, we want to get the proportions right. So, what do you think? Um, because remember, yeah, you need... it looks a little bit longer actually. Okay, so let's let's make it. Let's just drop it a little bit. Didn't need to erase it. No, I got it. Okay. Oh yeah, that looks pretty. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I was talking about, but that's fine. <laughs> I was talking about bringing. Redoing that line and bringing it down here, but that's okay. Uh, yeah. That's all right. This is your first time doing it, so we're good. Okay. Now, so now you need to find where your nose goes. Okay. Your nose but first, go. I need the eyes. No, first I want you to do the nose, the bottom of the nose oh. to the top of the nose. All right. Now the nose is right on the line, so you're above it. We want the nose to drop down to the line. It needs to touch the bottom, touch the line. See this line? That needs to come down. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, what are you doing? Tell me what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look at this picture right here. See how the nose is right on the line? Yeah. Where's your nose on the no, it's not your real nose. Where's your where's your nose? Is it on the line or is it above the line? On the line. Look at it. Is it on the line or above the line? Uh, kind of looks on the line because so that, uh -huh. I don't think 
So oh, it looks like it's floating a little bit. All right, so what did you do there? Well, first I wanted to draw a clown face. So first I started with the oval, and then I did all the lines. Very good. So those are registration lines. Yeah, to help and you then I started them. with the um what did I start with? Nose. I started with the nose and then I need to look what what this was and then I copied it so then I could figure out what's going on so I had to look at it very very closely and then i started working on the eyes so i needed to um make the the short ones and then make the um what's that called again the iris no no i mean the eyelids no i mean oh the brow the line. The line. Uh, oh, what shape was the eye? What oh. shape is the eye? An arch. So oh, first. Oh, that's what you were doing. An arch. Okay. So I drawed an arch, mm -hmm. and then I drawed the circle. It looks like a little bit weird and you know kind of big, you know. And um, I started with the pupils now and then I started working on the mouth and then and then you know I gave it a little bit of lines and then go down and then I gave it a line between and another line under and then um what shape is the mouth Mouth. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's an oval. I started with the o, the other oval too, and um. But what's the top lip shape like? Oh, it kind of looks like a bow. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I started working on the ears. Those were ovals too. So I did the. I made a little bit taller, a little bit, and. I did it between the other lines, and um, I did the neck, and I did all the crazy hair for the clown face, and then I did the eyebrows that are a little bit up. Mm -hmm. It's a kind of silly face, but and I did all the crazy hair. So yeah, that's it. That looks great. So you know what you're supposed to do now? What? Sign your name. Oh, yeah. Sign it next to your picture right there. Okay, got it. M I L O Mike. Very good. Very good. And you did a great job. And I want you to practice drawing more. So I'm going to give you some pictures that I want you to draw until next time. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. Did you learn a lot? Yep. <laughs>